So I'm going to show you a very quick demonstration of the microcurrent machine, which is also referred to as MENS, or also the non-surgical facelift. So the machine I'm going to be using for the demonstration is the SkinMate. So you have your on-off button at the back, and you just select um, which kind of waveform you want. So we want lifting waveform, which is the equivalent to square waveform for toning and tightening. Then we also um, press we press start then till we get to our lifting. Our intensity then is just going to be over um, half maximum. All right, so what we're going to do then is we are going to get our electrodes and we're using metal end electrodes. I'm gonna gently um, wrap them around my wrists so they're not trailing over my client's face. And um, the gel I'm going to use today is the um, microcurrent lift gel which also has collagen in it so it's helped to conduct the current but it also helps to moisturize the skin with the um, with the effect of collagen as well so I'm just going to use this gel okay so what I need to do really when you're doing it for college bases is you need to make sure you have your machine off okay um, and at zero before you start your treatment so you always need to make sure you have one electrode in contact with the skin then you can select your lifting mode and then turn up your intensity and then you're ready to start your treatment. So I'm going to start the treatment on the um, platysma, which is the sheet of muscle covering the front of the neck. So I'm going to do the first movement, which is called gliding. So with gliding, one electrode stays stationary and the other one slides up. OK, so we're going to move then all along the platysma muscle. And what this is going to do is going to stretch the muscle. So you hold the electrode at the end to basically hold the contraction. And this does take quite a time because you need to get all the way across the face. Your client will get little or no movement with this because you're working on the subsensory nerve endings and it also mimics the bioelectrical activity in the skin. So it's a very kind of natural treatment. So once you've done that all the way across, we could go on and do another treatment, all right? So what we need to do then is just re-wet our, our gel, our electrodes with gel. And I'm going to show you then the sliding movement. So with the sliding movement, a good example to do this on is the frontalis, which is the sheet of muscle covering the front of the forehead. So with sliding, both electrodes slowly slide away from each other. So this, in this case, I'm working on the frontalis muscle, which covers the whole front of the forehead. So you're going to just work all the way up to the top of the forehead towards the hair. So again, this whole treatment takes over an hour to do. By the time you work through all the muscles, there's different movements to do for every muscle. The third type of movement that you can do, okay, I'm just going to regel, all right, and um, just keeping in contact, I'm going to do is pinching. So again, it's not going to be usually effective on my model today, but um, I'm going to show you how you do it. So what you do is you keep one electrode out at the insertion of the muscle, which is at the ear. And what I'm going to do is slide one electrode, increase your pressure, and then you kind of pinch the skin slightly. Now, when you're doing this on, I suppose, live tissue or live person, you will get a gentle pinch on the skin, okay? And basically you work all over the zygomaticus and the rhizorus muscle. So kind of just to show you a few moves, you can do pinching um, if someone has kind of droopy eyes, which you know the elastin starts to break down on this part of the eye as you age. So again, what you can do is you basically pinch the eyebrow and that is another example of pinching so you can do movements all over um, the face if someone is concerned um, if they were a smoker and they were concerned you could do the sliding movements and this would be literally like this all around the abicularis oris okay so there is movements for all the muscles on the face in a routine but that is just an introduction um like say for your exam it's the probably amount of time that you would spend on it so before you remove both electrodes from the skin you turn down your intensity to zero and then you power off your machine at the back and then you can remove your electrode from the skin